But if you need to keep the navigation stack growing because you want to keep the history of navigation, you can at least release the large resources on view did disappear and reallocate them on view will appear. So when you transition to one navigation to the other, you free all the resources because you don't need them anymore. The screen, the, the, the view is not on screen, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So you, so you have a list view controller, for example. So what triggers the whole thing is the refresh, right? So here you would have the view did disappear. View did disappear. And you free up resources. Because you don't need them. The screen mm -hmm. is not visible anymore, right? And here you have the view will this view will appear. Will appear. Then you refresh or you know, like reallocate resources. Because a view controller is not that expensive. What is expensive is the views it loads and all the the images it holds as yeah. well, you know, the resources Source in there. Yeah. Like this. Now you can have an infinite navigation and still gonna build up memory, but a view controller is not that expensive. Mm -hmm. You know, you can add a bunch of your controllers. It's not going to blow up. Like, you would have to actually try to maliciously <laughs> break the application to do it if you're freeing up the resources correctly. There's another thing you can do. Yeah. It saves memory, but increases probably processing time and disk reads, you know. So it's always a trade-off when you are optimizing your code. You're optimizing for memory, you're optimizing for CPU cycles, you're optimizing for disk reads. <laughs> it's always, you need to balance that depending on your application.